that is oh actually actually i have one last thing for you ah what the f so I'm, I'm in the middle of a farm right now and there's f flying everywhere bro there it is oh my god what is up guys good morning i hope you're all doing well today i'm going to be talking about the five things i love about my a35 there is a lot of things that i love in my 35 but if i had to pick five it would be these If you haven't seen the video of the five things that I don't like about my car, I'll put a little link at the end of this video. For the moment, enjoy this video. So I've had the car for a year now, exactly a year. I had it in I bought it in July 1. So I've had a long, long time to get used to the car, find out the things that I don't like and the things that I like. But today we are just going to be talking about the things that I love about this car Things that makes my heart So yeah, let's get into it So the first thing that I love about this car is The interior The interior is absolutely mm. Can I kiss you? The interior is absolutely amazing this was the main reason why I got the car in the first place there was loads of other cars that are better in performance but the interior just didn't quite hit me um, the same as with the A-Class the other car that I would have gone for is probably an RS3 saloon of course but yeah the the interior of this car just won it for me so I'll, I'll show you the interior right now So this is what the interior is like, as you've probably already seen. It's got two 10-inch screens, uh, like pretty much like an iPad. Um, the middle of the center screen is touchscreen, and you've got your driver dash in on this side. And look how gorgeous that looks! It just looks so nice. You've got your air vents and then some controls for the air, your AC, temperature and the hazard. And then you've got a little control pad to control the middle screen. And then you've got a little hand rest there. The interior is one of the best things I love about this car. It's just so simple. They've kept everything so simple. And I love the modern sort of touch to it as well. I love the modern sort of improvement to it and the touch screens as well. It's, it's just so good. I love it so much. I like how the steering wheel looks as well. And also it has an ambient lighting all around. And you can't really see it right now, but at night you can see a lot of ambient lighting. So we'll switch into night mode right now. And as if by magic, here is how the ambient light looks like at night. And you can obviously change the colour by so going into comfort and then ambient lighting colour and then you have a choice of up to six to four colours. So if I change it to orange, yellow, green, and then back to pink. So, that is it, and we're back. At the moment in the market, there's nothing that can beat this interior. For me, that is just my opinion. It's absolutely 
10 10 I love it so much so the second thing that I love about my car is having sort of like Siri in the car but she's called Mercedes 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 Hey Mercedes How can I help? How hot is it right now? The outside temperature is 26.5 degrees Celsius So that is another thing that definitely won me over about getting this car I don't know, it's just pretty cool She does a lot of things too She can close my roller sun blinds Change my temperature I, when I'm driving, I just ask her to take me to this place. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that you can do with Mercedes, and it is a little nifty feature. I, I think it's very nice, and a lot of cars are starting to have these now. Um, I've seen. I think Toyota is starting to have one. I can't remember what theirs is called, but yeah, it is a little nifty feature that I absolutely love about these car. I love it so much. So anyway, third thing that I love about this car is the launch control oh my god the launch control oh it just oh, it is absolutely immense i've never had a car with launch control and yeah it's it just goes and then vroom. i love it so much it's it's a nice little feature that they've put on the A35 or should put the drift mode on the A35 but no anyway yeah the launch control is absolutely amazing I love it I love it I love it there's not really much to tell you about it it's pretty cool um, to set the launch control you should put the car in sports plus um, turn the traction control off foot on the brake and then hard on the acceleration and then it will tell you on the screen race start initiated and then you just let go of the brake and then poof, to space you go fourth thing that i love about this car is look at that no roof sunroof having sunroof oh my god it is amazing look at that it makes the car look big you can open it up absorb some fresh air it's pretty cool it's not it doesn't have any benefit at all it makes the car lighter it makes the car look bigger on the inside but yeah nice having a little sunroof not all a35s are sunroof by the way it's because i've got the premium plus package that's why i've got the sunroof so yeah that's quite cool too i love that as you can see good weather is sunroof weather that's why it's open right now yeah i love it so much the last but not the least the fifth the fifth the fifth thing that i love about my car is just how it looks so the car is premium plus with the aero package so the aero package means it has the black lip spoiler the side skirts the front canards and the front splitter and also the wheels as well and it look and it's got the de-chromed um, window sills it looks absolutely delicious i love it so much it's got the rear diffuser as well by the way and oh my god it's bunda just looks mm, 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 mm. so i'll come out and show you that right now so there you go front canards front splitter but not the maxton one because i have added that one on it's also got the blacked out wing mirrors Lip spoilers, de-chromed window sills. It's got the rear diffuser. Not including those, by the way, because that is an aftermarket ones that I've put on. It does have this rear fenders as well, which looks pretty cool. So yeah, just look at it. Look at it. Look at it, bunda. Yeah, by having the Aero Pack, it makes the car look. 10 times better it looks it's a lot more sporty i've seen a35s before without the a35 saloons before without the aero pack and i mean no offense to people who's got an, an a35 saloon without the aero pack <laughs> 
foot. Um, it's, it doesn't look as aggressive, in my opinion. I think the front panel just makes it look super aggressive. I, I've, I've, obvious, I've obviously changed the front grille from blades to Panamericana grills aftermarket. So it looks a lot more aggressive. So yeah, that is, oh actually, actually I have one last thing for you. The last thing that I love about this car is that it's got an active driving assist. So what that means is that I can put it in cruise control and can sense the car in front. If it's getting too close, you can set the distance as well and the car will slow down or speed up depending on the car at the front and it will pretty much drive by itself as well so it will keep the car straight and corner by itself as well if you want to change lanes as well you just put your indicators left or right and then the car will steer itself left or right i love it so much obviously it will check the surrounding areas as well before it moves if it can sense a car um, on the blind side it will beep and probably not change but yeah it's it is pretty nice it, when you're literally when you're on cruise control you don't even have to do anything it is not self-driving as such but it is pretty much self-driving it within sort of 30 seconds it will tell you to keep your hands on the steering wheel but it is pretty much self-driving but I guess it's not as good as the Tesla's one. So yes, that is the five or let's say six things that I love about my car. And um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please go like, and if you haven't, if you haven't already subscribed, press the subscribe button. Come on, help, help your boy out. Comment down below and yeah thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next video